Hello and welcome back everybody to a new episode of Minecraft Hardcore. So last time I was gonna find a village after I got out of the cave with six diamonds. I made a diamond pickaxe as a quick recap. Let's move on to it. And when I spawned I, 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 I realized that there's a temple. And this is the worst temple ever, so I'm gonna sleep before I get into it. What do I mean when I said the worst temple? Because it has no protection. Like, nothing, nothing. It cannot kill you. Who's gonna die? Okay, what is inside of the chest? Two di- three diamonds, let's go! Okay, let's- let's- I'm- I'm just gonna try to do something. Yep, I don't know, it just works. Where's that- where's the chest? They're hiding it. What is inside? More gold and iron, let's go, and yeah, bones. I'm very rich with bones. Okay, now let's start or just keep looking for a village. Hmm. Pandas! They're real! They're real! I thought they were mods! Do they attack me? Hello? Do you wanna eat some bamboo? Yes. Yes, they wanna eat some bamboo. That's cool. That's so- Oh! <gasps> is that- Is that a temple or- VILLAGE! Let's go! Cats. Okay, 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 okay. This is the place. This is the place. We're gonna make our first farm in this place. This is amazing. Okay, I have enough wood. I'm gonna build my stuff in here finally. We have a house. We have a home. Everything in it. Everything I need and don't need, then take the things that I need. I need golden apples. And I need the obsidian so we can build another. And I need one main tag. Okay, now let's start working on our first project. The iron farm. Okay, so first of all, we need nine hoppers. First thing. But we need chest and... Oh my god, we need a lot of things. So, let me tell you what is the ingredients we need now. We need three stacks of anything of unburnable block. And 21 more blocks. And we need 10 stairs and a stack and half of the wall. Call of signs, nine hoppers, two chests, water, lava, three beds, three villagers, one name tag, one zombie. So, because I don't have anything of that that I just mentioned, I'm gonna just gonna go step by step making the items, you know? So first of all, let's make the shovel. Because you need a couple of stone and need sandstone, it depends. Okay, I'm gonna make another chest just to put things in it, so I you know if I got the, the enough items. As what I mentioned earlier, we need nine hoppers, water, wait, give me that. And we need one bucket of lava. Just one. It's pretty hard to make. And we need 12 signs and I don't have enough wood. So, what we do? Okay, I guess that's more than enough, but it's perfect, perfect, perfect. And there's a pool of lava! Oh my god, my luck. I fucking love it so much. I have 12 now. 12 signs, done. A bucket of lava is done. Three beds are ready. Now we need three or four stacks of stone. Okay, I need a bunch of glass because it's gonna look better. Just just a little. I don't need a lot. Just a little. Make another furnace. Put it in here. Put. We have four stacks and pretty much half. We have 12 stairs and a bunch of glasses. And we're good to start. But before we have the name tag, we have to, to put a name on that name tag, you know? It's just not just a name tag with no name. But I can't! Can I name a zombie name tag? Does it work like this? I just don't want to try in this douchebag. So we go... 10 blocks. Make it 15. Yeah, that's enough. Then we put a block underneath. Not a temporary block. Just a block underneath. One in here and one in here. Three blocks to this way. And three blocks to this way. And remove the temporary blocks. We don't need them. And we need to put one in the back. Doesn't... I mean, this this is gonna be the back of it. It doesn't matter, you can choose this one, but for me, I'm choosing the back of it. The one that I'm sitting in, it's the zombie chamber, so... For zombie chamber, I'm just gonna cover it with the glass, like this. We have to make a distance between these villagers and the zombies. Why is it... As what I said, you can use any block, but I just like to use glass, that it's not appearing, finally. And we have to build a chamber for these as well. These people, the villagers. Like this. And pretty much for all of the sides. Like this. I just need to make one more side, but I don't have enough glass. It's down. Let me go and take it. And now we build this chamber again. I mean, we complete the chamber for the villagers. Like this. Okay, we have to put 
Another side? I mean, yeah, we have to make it two blocks high. And I don't have enough. I need more. And we put a block in here, and one in here, and... This block, and this block, and this block, make it free. So the zombie can see the villagers, so, so they get scared, you know? When they get scared, they start building the iron golem. That's how it works. So yeah, just leave them like this. And we need to make this three blocks of height. Yeah, I don't have enough. Got the glass, finally. That's what I said, we make this three blocks high. This is this. This, 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 this. This, this. And that's pretty much it. And we have to make a block for the villager. I mean, for the zombie. So he can't get on top of that. We make this. And that's the barriers for the zombie. So they can he can't get off and attack the villagers. You know, this is the barrier for the zombie. We put bed in every single chamber of villagers. This is first. And put another one. And the last one. Okay, now we need, to, we need to get more water. And I see there's a water. This is infinite. Now we need to do two things. And for this, we put it in the chamber, in the zombie chamber. So he don't get burned. Okay, now we need to get the villagers and the zombies. So, for this, it's gonna take a lot of time. Because it's sunset. I mean, it's 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 sunny. It's, it's the day, it's the day, yeah, it's the day. But we can get the villagers. So... In order to do that, we have to build uh, stairs for them. We build like this. And we have to get a villager in the water. So he, he just used the water to get out. But how to do it? Oh my god, this is gonna be so hard. What we do now, we close all of the sides like this and we the way back. And we just put a way for him to the water. So we can just get to the water. That's very stupid, I know, but he must do it. Go. Go to the water. Go. Go to the water. No. Yep, like this. No! He died. Thanks, but you're doing the wrong way. Now we gotta die like the other. Oh my god, I have to build walls for you, like for real. Finally, we got this place. It's kinda perfect. Now, please work. Go. Finally. Go, yeah. Go. Dive. Don't. Please don't drown. Please. Please. We don't have enough time. Please don't drown. Don't drown. Please. You know how to breathe. You're not stupid. Cool. Now, find your way up. Up to the bed. Step in here. Yeah, you understand. Uh, amazing. Um, super amazing. I fucking love villagers now. Cap. This process took for me more than an hour, so I'm just shortcutting this thing for you. I got the first villager, built a way to the chamber, then put him in. Then I built another way to the third chamber so he don't fell off. Then I went back to the village, dig a way in for the villager, put him with a the boat, then bring him back to the third one. And now let's move on to the zombie part. Let me announce that I have an anvil, finally. And the name tag, I'm gonna call him Billy. So our zombie named Billy. Now we need to find the zombie, but before that, we just need to make sure that, th that the chamber is ready for the zombie or for the Billy. I don't know if husk works the same, but I'm just not gonna risk it, you know. Perfect, perfect. Come, follow me. Let me show you something incredibly cool. Come on. And go down. That is perfect. Build this in here. Finally. They built... Oh my god, they built an iron golem in this place. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I had to close this. Now I have to kill him. Shit. It's gonna take a lot of time. Wait, close th this and this. And close this. Amazing! So they don't see the zombie. They don't freak out anymore. The zombie despawned. I I forgot to I forgot to put a name tag on him. I forgot. Oh my god! There's a lot of shit in here. I forgot. I forgot. Please don't despawn. Please. Stop! Fucking skeletons. Did he despawn? Yep. He did. 
I'm stupid. Hello there again. I got another zombie, but I had the name tag with me in my hand so I don't forget to name him. And that was a piece of cake. And I named him Billy. Now finally we got into business. First of all, we start building the spawning platform. The platform that the iron golem is gonna spawn on it. So it starts from here. Seven to this way and seven to this way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And from this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we close it the whole way. And now we have to make this platform double thick, like this. And now we grab our stairs and we just put them along this way, like this. Oh, don't mess it up, for sure. First of all, build underneath them, because we're gonna build anyway underneath. Then we put the stairs. After that, we just make three long blocks platform and we close it the whole way, like this. We're good, ready to go. Okay, now we have to go down to do one thing, so now we know what to do. I forgot to tell you something, instead of these blocks, just replace them with stairs. Like this. Amazing. Now we grab the sandstone wall and we put it on the sides. Put a temporary blocks like, I mean in here, then just surround the whole area, like this. You don't have to put it in the corners, but for a better view, yeah, do it focus on here just do this you have to put one underneath no never mind don't don't put one underneath in here just put it down like this do it from the same do the same on the second side I mean to the other side not the second one like this you have to put one underneath so I guess I'm just gonna do this and remove this one and make it the whole way to here like this. Amazing. Wait, just make one more further and for here, yeah, like the same, less, the same. Make three blocks free in here. Then you have to do one thing. Put water so you can go down. We need temporary blocks. So I'm gonna use cobblestone for my case and put one, two, three, four. Amazing. Now start building down like this, but we have to put block in here. So put water and go down like this. Yeah, I forgot to tell you, after putting these four temporary blocks, just put two tests connected to each other, like this. And remove the temporary blocks, and put instead of it a hopper. Hopper, I mean. Like this. Make them all connected to the same test, and all connected to the to each other. Like this. Amazing. Now, by the way, you have to cover this area. I didn't have enough blocks to cover it but now we have so amazing like this we grab this and we just put it all the way down and we make we make a wall around it like this then we stand on top of that and build blocks to here and close it with this one like this we do the same on the other side like this and do this. You can cover this with any block, but for me, I'm just gonna use glass panes because it looks much better. You don't have to use glass panes, but it looks much, much better. Okay, now we have to do one thing. We have to get the jungle signs or the signs, not jungle, the wooden signs. And we put them all the way in here, like face face this, this block and build one, build one, build one, build another, build another, build another. And another, another, another. Now we have now we have nine signs in here. We have to get out of this place. And now for here we have to put three signs this way. Amazing. And now we need the lava bucket. We put it in the middle of the signs. Just hold shift and do it. It's gonna spread all the way. Like this. Pretty amazing. And now, the last and not least, we have to put water all the way in here and all the way in here. So it's gonna take a lot of time for me, so I'm gonna just speed run th this, 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 this step. This is the last shape, I mean the last, the last thing you're gonna get. If this is the last thing you got, if this is the last thing you got, your, your job is perfect. Cause look, the iron golem is gonna spawn here, 
Then he's gonna go down, all the way down here. Then all the way down here, then he's gonna get burned in the lava. Then you gotta get the three irons from him. You just AFK one hour, you get more than two stacks, believe me. Now we have to remove all of the obstacles from here. So they freak out. And yeah, they start building the iron golem. Yep, he spawned up there. That's amazing. I mean, you just AFK for a bit of time. You make a little hole room in here or down. And you get the flower and the three irons. Four or five. You got, I got five for myself. It's pretty amazing, pretty easy. You're just gonna wait a little bit again. They're gonna build another one. If you wanna make a good path over there, just make slabs so you make an unspawnable blocks. When you build the slabs, just, just make sure you put it down in here so he don't spawn on them. Like this. It's unspawnable blocks. It's amazing. Pretty easy. You have to make water or something to go up. It depends on you. Like this, so he doesn't spawn. Oh shit. This is my little chamber in here, so I can get the iron. I, got, I already got six iron. That's amazing. And that was it for today, everybody. The best iron farm, the best working iron farm in Minecraft. This is it. This is pretty amazing. You can make double of this, so you can get the double amount of iron. And that was it for today. Don't forget to like. This took from me a lot, because I'm noob in Minecraft, you know. <clears throat> and yep, that was it for today. Have a nice day.